Hello everyone and welcome to ABB Robot Studio Tutorials. In this ABB Robot Studio Tutorial we explain how to open a new project and add a robot to that project. Then we explain how to manipulate the view. We will explain how to zoom, rotate and pan the robot view and the workspace view. Then we explain how to create and add a virtual controller to our project then we explain how to jog or move the joints by using mouse buttons. Then we explain how to move the robot along X, Y, Z axes and how to rotate. And finally we explain how to enter rotation angles and change of position of robot joints by using keyboard keys. Okay, let's start. After opening the robot studio you will see this main or the starting window. Over here click on New and click on Projects and do not include the robot in Virtual Controller. Name the project and specify the location. I will use the default values over here in order to save time. So then I will click on Create. And this will take some time. OK. So this is the default view of our workspace. The first step is to add a robot to our workspace. The easiest way to do that is to click over here on the ABB library and to select your robot. I will select this first option since this is the simplest possible robot, IRB120. So click over here and let's choose the default version and click OK. And here it is. Here is our robot. The first step is to learn how to zoom, rotate and pan this default view. Okay, so let's learn how to zoom. There, is, there are several approaches to do that. I assume that you have a mouse with three buttons. You have left button, right button and the middle button is actually a rolling button. So you can simply roll the middle button to zoom in and out. Okay, so if you want to zoom in and out, again the middle rolling button is used and you just need to roll it. And that's it. Another approach for zooming is actually to hold that middle button and to move mouse left or right or up or down. And this is how you zoom in and zoom out. So let's repeat again. To zoom in, the first option is to roll the middle mouse button. Another option is to hold the middle mouse button and to move it left or right, left, right, left, right. Okay, now we know how to zoom. Next, we need to learn how to rotate. To rotate, we need to do the following. We hold the control shift and then let's move the mouse left and right while holding control shift. Aha! Uh -huh. I can see that I can rotate my robot. So again, hold control shift and then you can rotate. Now, over here you can also see a simple reminder of how to do that. So Control shift and left mouse button is to rotate and to zoom is the middle mouse button. The next step is to learn how to pan the view. That is how to move the view left and right. To do that, press control and hold control and move left and right, left and right, left and right. Okay, so let's repeat everything again to zoom simply roll the middle mouse button to rotate hold control shift and then move the mouse button left or right and finally to pan the view press control and move left and right and you can see over here control left button is to pan control shift and the left button is to rotate and zoom is the middle mouse button that's it okay to be able to move the robot, we need to add a controller to our workspace. That is, we need to add a controller to our project. So how to add the controller? Well, do you see this 
small option over here, virtual controller. Well, you need to press virtual controller and over here, let's select this option from layout. And let's choose the default settings. Don't cha change anything over here. Click on next and let's click over here and let's use this robot where click on next and cl simply click on finish okay now you have to wait a little bit since this will take some time you can see over here that the station controllers are starting and you can see the status over here so be patient okay once you see this green option over here this means that you can use the controller so how to use the controller there are several ways to do that to move the robot joints or better to say to jog the joints you need to click over here and then select a certain joint so for example I will select this one now hold the left mouse key and move left or right and you can see over here that you select a joint tree and you can see the angle of rotation simple as that so let's select some other joint for example let's select this joint and then hold the left mouse key and then you can simply move the robot around joint one so let's select some other joint for example this one and then again hold the left mouse key and then you can rotate or move this joint and then let's select this one and again hold the left mouse key and you can see how the joint moves. Next, let's learn how to move the robot point over here that is the center of this coordinate system along the X, Y and Z axes. To do that, simply click over here on move and rotate and click over here. Now, if you now Hold the left mouse key you will see that this point over here that is the TCP point the center of this point is moving along the X axis and you can even do something like this you can specify for example the offset to be 15 by just entering the number for example if I want to have here let's say 35 I'll simply enter the number by using my keyboard keys okay now if you want to move along the y-axis you will do something similar and if you want to move along the z-axis you will do this simple as that the center of this coordinate system is called a TCP point TCP stands for tool center point and in these tutorials, you will often hear this abbreviation. So when I say TCP point, you know that I'm referring to this exact point. Next, let's explain another approach for moving the robot joints. Namely, if you click over here, you will see this modify menu. And if you click on the modify menu, you will see this option, mechanism joint jog. So again, click over here under mechanism you'll see modify and over here you can click on this option so what will happen over here you will see this menu over here and by using this menu you can actually manually move the robot so you can clearly specify the numbers over here and you will have this slider so for example first joint let me zoom out so you can see so here's the first joint second one third one fourth one, fifth one, and sixth one, and you can even define a step if you want to have a finer motion, etc. Next, over here, under Modify, we have several interesting options. Now, you can set the home position, for example. So, for example, if you click over here, you can select Jump Home, and you will return to your home position. Now, if again over here, click on configurations you can have different types of configurations if you want let's not play with this option for the time being and then you also have some other options such as this one over here and this one over here so let's see what happens over here then you will also have 
another option. Here you will be able to move along x, y, and z axis. And you can see your coordinate system. The coordinate system is actually the world coordinate system. That is, this is not the coordinate system of the TCP, this is our world coordinate system or the base coordinate system. And of course, you can change these coordinate systems, however, we are not going to play with this option further. So you can move along z-axis, and you can even do rotation. That is, you can change the orientation of TCP. Okay, that's all for today.